All right, I'm gonna show you how to turn a $35 Bofang into a police scanner in under two minutes, hopefully. All right, so you just need a Bofang, you need the connection cable, you can buy one of these on Amazon for about 20 bucks, connect it to your laptop, running Chirp, which is free, and you're going to have your download. So go to radio here, and you're going to download from your radio. It's gonna take it a about 20 seconds to download everything from your radio and it's going to make you a nice spreadsheet file up here that you're going to copy and paste some results into. So there's our file. I'm going to close this old one. We're not going to save that. This is the file we're going to go into. All right, I'm going to close this one here. So we only got one tab open. See that? Just one. Now, next thing we're going to do, go back to radio and you're gonna query a source. You're gonna to want to set up an account, a free account from radioreference.com. Highly encourage you to pay the premium service, which is like, I don't know, 20 bucks, maybe 20 bucks for an entire year. You're gonna to wanna to do that because you're gonna be able to have access. You're gonna log in, uh, clicking on this will pop up a login screen with all of your login information for Radio Reference. I've already done that. If I click this, you'll see my login information. So I'm gonna just kinda of point away from it for a second. We're gonna click on that radio reference right there. I'm gonna click on it. And then it's gonna give us an option for a zip code. So we're gonna put in that little zip code right there, which is to Pleasanton, Texas. Just picked it randomly. And it's gonna search for that zip code. Boom, all of the radio reference for that location now is on our little spreadsheet. So we're gonna select it and we're going to shift click so it highlights it. And then we're going to command copy. Remember where we made our own little list of what was on our radio, right? And now I'm going to um, highlight this and I'm going to paste everything in there. It's gonna say overwrite. Yes, you wanna overwrite. We're gonna overwrite, boom. A couple are not supported. That means they're probably encrypted. Just hit okay. Those will be uh, X'd out. You won't have them in here, right? So everything that we just copied over, there's some of the old stuff that I had on here a minute ago uh, from Bryson City. So I'm just gonna clear that out by shift and then I'm gonna command X, it's gone, boom. Now, everything that we just got off of the Pleasanton is in here, and we're gonna go back up here to radio, and we're gonna upload. Boom. It's uploading. All those channels are now uploaded. It's gonna reboot. Bam. Unplug. And in channel mode, you can switch through all the channels now. Two, three. If you look. Four, five, six. Those are all the channels. Seven, ten, three, four, six, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 18, 20, all the Pleasanton, 20, 1, 20, 2. So there's, they're in there. 20, 3, 1. There it is. Now you want to turn that into a police scanner. It's all those channels for that area are plugged in there and you just press and hold your scan button. Scanning begin. And now it is scanning between all the program channels that you just put into it. You have effectively turned a Bofang into a police scanner for 35 bucks plus whatever you paid for, uh, like 20 bucks. So $30 radio, $15 cord off of Amazon, and a $20 membership for the entire year gets you access to every single zip code location. You can query it and then upload it to your radio anywhere in the United States that's on radio reference in free software chirp 
and boom look at that and it's just sitting there scanning and now you got a police scanner for dirt cheap